You could argue the pandemic has been hardest on seniors. So vulnerable to the virus, many living in fear, often in isolation. This is a story about two of them who've decided enough. More about their most excellent adventure, a lifetime in the making, in a moment. First, a life lesson that even Norma Kennedy, 83 years young, needed reminding of. And the pandemic did just that. But when you're faced with a pandemic and the restrictions that it imposes on you, you realize that a visit from a family member is so much more important. I have two, two uh, great-grandsons. This is one of them. Uh, the other one's over there. I had three great-grandchildren born during the pandemic, which I didn't get to see. I think if, if nothing else, COVID has taught us to value what we have. Across town, 79-year-old Betty Soller, a complete stranger, a very familiar realization. I guess we didn't appreciate what we had until it was gone. It's almost like being locked up in jail. All of a sudden, here we were, couldn't go anywhere or do anything. There's been a lot of time to miss family, those alive and those who've gone before. Like Betty's grandfather, who lived a life of adventure on a distant island she's always wondered about. So is this the lighthouse that your grandfather tended? Yes. Sable Island, a place of mystery for so many, 300 kilometers off Nova Scotia. A sandbar, really, out in the Atlantic, home to countless shipwrecks and hundreds of wild horses. A place where Betty's father was also born. And there's nobody left to find anything more out about it. I, I wish I had asked more, but when you're a kid, you don't think about those things, you know. How a trip to such an exotic locale few get to see would make her feel. Well, I'll be able to connect by seeing it, being there. I'll be able to connect what they talked about, see what he saw. Certainly give me some closure. Something I always wanted to do. For Norma, seeing the horses of Sable Island has been on her bucket list since she was a kid. I can remember going to bed at night thinking about those horses on Sable Island. You know, they had to be a very special breed to survive. I thought, I wonder if there's any possibility I could get to go to Sable Island. I believe we should do what we can do in this life. We're only going this way once. And so now, back to that trip. A charity called We Are Young that grants seniors wishes put the two ladies together and flew them to Sable Island. Fantastic. Yeah. We made it. We made it. We made it, finally. <laughs> to make their dreams come true. And those horses, they don't disappoint. Wow. Just incredible. It's unbelievable. It really is. It's beautiful. The waves. It's better than I ever imagined it could be. It's just gorgeous. The wind. The wind keeps blowing me. I feel like I'm drunk sometimes. <laughs> and the wonder of it all is pretty good for the soul. There's a feeling of solitude and peacefulness here that you'd never get anywhere else. It's almost like you're on the moon or something. It's just just different altogether. And then? I wonder who, whose house that was. Sort of in the lee of the dunes, out of the wind. Betty discovers the place where her grandfather's lighthouse once stood. Where my dad was born, and my grandparents lived for at least three years that I know of, 1919 to 1923. I finally made it. 
a walk in her father and grandfather's footsteps. For Betty, a much needed trip back in time. I, I feel a special connection to this place because of my dad and my family. Takes me back a little bit. I wish you were here with me. You can see why he wasn't lonely. It's such a beautiful place. It's special. And maybe in the end, that's the moral of the story. Life can once again take you places, if you let it. Heck, you might even make a new friend along the way. Take that, COVID. Tom Murphy, CBC News, Halifax.